Hello and welcome back to episode 3 of this Stoke City Rebuild. Since you were last with us, where we lost 1-0 at home to Preston, we have since gone on to beat Norwich away 2-1 at Carrow That was a very good victory. Then we went to Huddersfield and lost 3-1. Never got going in that game. Beat Hall 4-2 in a brilliant game. We were 4-0 up at one stage before we got 2 Consolation goals, then a ding dong battle against Forest Green, lost 3 2 at home. We made some changes, resting some players, also missed a last minute penalty to take it to penalties. So we are out of the EFL Cup before just we had an absolute nightmare losing 5 1 away to Bristol City. That cannot happen too many times this year. It was an absolute disaster. So, next we take on Southampton at the Bet365 Stadium. Hoping to get rid of going out of the AFL Cup and losing 5-1 to Bristol City. And get at least a draw, if not a win. So, we will see what we will do against the very good Southampton side. Currently in the Championship, we are 11th in the table, which is... a Reasonable stars so far, not looking fair to relegation, but not really looking to challenge for the top six at the moment. Bristol City, we did lo lose 5-1 to, only lost one game and a third in the league, so they are one of the form teams in the league. We play Southampton, who are also one of the form teams, they are second at the moment, so it will be a difficult game. Hopefully we can get something out of it. I will see you in a minute for that game. Right team, you saw this Southampton game at home. We have Monete in goal with Mendy at right back. Wilmot at centre back with Ricky. Tyman at left back. Laurent in the defensive midfield role. Weir is a number 8. Bayon Ho as the 10. Campbell on the right, Koulibaly on the left, with Matteo Josef up front. A little bit of a change to the formation and tactics to see if we can improve. I'm in a defensive midfielder in there and a box to box. Hopefully, a bit asymmetrical. Let's see if that works for us going forward. So, Southampton obviously being in a bit of form. Just like when we faced Bristol City in the last game. So uh, let's hope we don't have the same results as in the last game. As we are underway in this match. Looking to get a bit of form back after that 5 1 thumping against Bristol City. As playing it on the back line, we are very unhappy. And Koulibaly chasing out. Oh, we're playing a chance. Koulibaly. What a start. What a fantastic start. 44 seconds on the clock. And still plays. There's a ball over the top. The keeper kicked it away. We are headed down. Moves it back to Koulibaly. And Koulibaly dispatches it beautifully into the back of it. Beyond Bazuma. It's Stoke City 1. Southampton now. A great start. He's asking the Ricky from centre back. Far far up the bit. Played it to the line. Wilmot. Campbell. Matteo Josef. And Matteo Josef makes it too. This is an unbelievable start. Stoke a two up after four minutes in the game. As Wilmot playing it forward into Campbell. Campbell beautiful ball to Josef. First touch takes it down to his feet beautifully. Flips off the inside of the post and beyond Bazuma. But pretty tight on the offside, but it is clearly onside. And against one of the front teams, we are two up. Two shots, two goals. After just four minutes there. Let's see if we can hold our nerves and keep this momentum going. 
Currently we be eighth in the league, looking to try and push towards the top six again. Bit inconsistent stars so far to the season. Need to try and get that consistency. It's that the ball ball and Kuzabali picks it up. Campbell. Chance! Campbell makes it free! Brilliant finish from Tyrus Campbell. 33 on the play. The Stevens pull ball away. Kuzabali watches on it. Campbell on space down the right. And he kills it into the back of the net. no chance. What a game this is. Three up in the first half. Ricky to the one, to the rear. Plays it for Kuzabali having a storm game. Kuzabali has plays there though. <clears throat> Bit too ambitious with that shot. As we approach half time, it's three now. Absolute storming start. Is into the second half, three now. Not much happening so far, but with three now, we can afford to take a foot off the gas a little bit. The Southampton have a free kick on to the other night as easy picking. So we will look to rest some players bay on her. And the run will be rested for Hodge and Galich. Also we will get Bailey Kadamatari a chance to see what he can do up front for us after Matteo has had a decent game and scored that third goal for us. Pretty dull second half compared to the first one here. But if you know, yeah, it doesn't matter if there's no more chances, we will get this victory and we will progress up the league. There's seven and looking to come forward. They've got nothing to lose, they need to throw everything forward. Small bear. Edozi. Alcazar. Good players back to small bear. Go back and push them forward. Small bear. Alcazar. It's a um, disappointing for the corner keeper going straight with just five minutes left in the game. A small one um, played it back. Then he got to back in the middle. Played the tall girls. And just watch it beyond the net, a no chance of a keeper. <laughs> no way of an offside. Same two puts it was nowhere near. Mindy to Hodge. Back to Mindy on his right side. Coming to him, he's going. And now, well, through the line. Time to pick it up and spin back around, plays it into Hodge. Kedimatai lays it off to the right. Hodge. Kedimatai, he's on the right. And back to Mindy. He's on the place of the play. And Kedimatai had another. And now, well, they feel bad when it's done. I don't feel very well. He managed to stop Sam. Don't know where he's got that from. But it looks like we'll see the game out 3 1. A good victory. Started by Kula Bali after just 44 seconds. Three goals in the opening 33 minutes. Sealed the game in the end. It was a very good victory, and we are currently eighth in the league. After that, our fifth victory of the season, so. 50% of the games we've won so far. And we're looking alright. We're looking alright. Uh, can't in top 10, but we need to try and get playoffs if we can. So, we have got a few tough games coming up. We've got Leicester away before two home games against Sunderland and Leagues. And then we will be back for the Millsburg game at the Riverside Stadium. Mills were currently 7th in the league. See what we can do in them three games. It's not going to be easy. It could easily be three defeats. So we need to play how we did against Southampton to push on and try and get another couple of victories in them games. I will see you back for that Mills game in a short while. 
Right, we are back for this game away against Middlesbrough. We have been unbeaten since you were last with us with our Southampton game. Obviously, we beat Southampton 3 1. Then we went on to beat Leicester 2 1. A Campbell goal and a Dakar own goal gave us a 2 1 victory. During the term, 0 0 against Sunderland, we did have a lot of shocks in that game. Couldn't get beyond them. Leagues during two weeks, all the goals coming in the last 10 minutes of the game. We went behind before Hodge and Koulibaly put us ahead before Notto got a late equaliser in that game. So we go to the Riverside, unbeaten in our last four, winning two, drawing two. Let's see if we can get another victory on the road. We are currently 10th in the league championship, three points off our playoff spot that we are trying to push towards, 10 points off top. 10 points off the drop zone. So we are looking higher table at the moment, unbeaten for. Can we continue that away against Millsworth in this next game? I will see you in a minute. So, team news so of today's game we have Monetti in goal, Mario Gasper at right back, Wilmot and Ricky at centre backs, Ryan Manning on the left, Laurent defensive midfield. Weir is the centre midfielder, Bayon Ho is the number 10, Campbell on the right, Koulibaly on the left, and Matteo Josef up front. Let's see how we do against Millsburg at the Riverside Stadium. I'd say we go into this game 4 unbeaten, Millsburg. Level on points in one place above us at the moment. So it will be a tough game. Hopefully we can do stuff. We've already started well with four shots and nine on table. Right? As Bayon here collects it once out of the box. Goes down, nothing down. We picks it back up, whip back in. And it's headed in. Tyrese Campbell with his seventh of the season. Great ball back in. As we are racing over here, gets the ball, does well to fend off McGee, and Campbell gets up highest to head beyond Roberts and the back of it. <coughs> Good start to the game. Looking to push on and progress. Manning in the corner, headed into the side netting by one more A decent chance. Into the center. Corner to Melzer now. Halson with the inswinger. Cleared away. The Akbarm. A foul to Akbarm and Trooper Akbarm. Into the back of the net. won. Stuck City won. 23 on the car. Halson with the delivery. Dealt with by one out of first. But then the second ball. Foul to Akbarm. And Give the keeper no chance. Malcolm was a bit sloppy there. <coughs> the one. The one with a chance and very scares because the one should have done better there. It's happening. I'm not a fan. And then to agree with the effort. Monete tipping around the post. Awesome with another in the corner, 27 on the clock. Looked in. Flick goes, what a save by Monetti. Somehow he got to a fox with the in from the other side now. And will not hit it away. Awesome. And now the one clears for And it's into touch. Stuck for halfway inside the own half. Which to take through Manning. Manning to Ricky. Kulabali, Weir, oh he's easily dispossessed in that one. Up on shooting, it's a hit, just one. Oh, no, he was saved, sorry. Great save again by Manetti, saving us. Hanson, he's on the corner, and cleared off the line by Manning. We need to deal with this. And still in his place, and still on the defensive. Every moment. 
if that was a really good spot for me as well. They perhaps feel they should be ahead after all. Look around. In fact, we're going to zoom deep and now we are ahead. Mark Gooks. Mark Gooks with the goal. It's Nilsa 2. Still playing. This is a very new one too. And Fox with the cross. Gooks with the goal. I do back the cross goal. No team, no chance. Defending circle and it's in there and there's a deserve on the side of the end. There's another one's gonna go and need to stop giving all these set pieces as we seem to not learn from them. And Trooper Akbar sings the first goal. It's not free one. We have not learned to do it. It's first back to I don't think he's unmarked. He's completely unmarked for the second time. <coughs> <coughs> and it's half time, it's 3 1. And. Well, the game has started really, really well. We are now 3 1 down. Campbell's picked up a knock, so he will come off. And we need to improve. This is not what we wanted. 3 1 down at Millsborough. It's a long way back from this. As we will try and go a bit more direct. Hoping to get back into it somehow. We are going to the number 10 role and Bowden will come off the bench. Oh, one good corner. Bowden will go deeper corner, so will be in that box to box role. We haven't really seen corners since he won three matches of the season. Had a nasty injury. Manning, out to win it. Have a chance to shoot? No. Okay, kill the ball here. Kulabali, Kulabali over the wall. That was a chance. And it's it over. Crooks, Dixty, Wilson back to the Akron. Scales, Bowler, and Hackney turns the moves over to make a four, and it is. <coughs> and it's Trooper Akron. With a hat trick. Absolutely ridiculous. We rolled the man here. As it was easy. It's Bowler down his left side. Hackney. Beyond the fullback. Hackbun. Easy as a mark. In the back net. And this is a hard way for him. Beating him come to an end. And then I picked it up. Where? Bowden. What are you of corners? Ottoman into Kulabala. But then Matteo Yusuf gone picked it up. Relics. Matteo Yusuf has a chance to get one more. Totally outclassed today. That's a ball ball. Manning picks it up. Driving the, the left side. And that. But what the hell was that? Matteo Joseph should have scored. Akbam, if it was on, it makes touch across, quick scores. 5 1, should have been 4 2, which is 2 minutes ago. Instead, it's 5 1. Wow. Just, where is the defence? It's alright to have Akbam go, but where, where is the defence on Cooks? Just absolutely diabolical, and it's 5 1. With the shots in all around it, actually, we don't deserve 5 1. But the defending has been atrocious. Friends, looks for Kuzabari, can't find it. He's picked up by Mosley. Roberts. 
Bowman picks it up and Janic with nice out of the box. Matteo hears it and that is a piece man. And Matteo Josef is coming off. That is an absolute ridiculous miss again. He's missed two good chances this said now. And we unfortunately lost 5 1. Trooper Akbom and Matt Crooks with the goals. Thomas Campbell put us ahead. What an embarrassment that was. And that just shows you how far we are from the top six. Like, we can't lose again. We've lost against Bristol City 5 1 as well as Millsville now. That is not good enough. We need to, I guess, and get out of the table. We, but when you have the games like Southampton and Leicester where we play really well and won, and then Millsville just didn't show up at all. Did not show up at all. So, we will look to come back again in We'll probably push on till till December now. Perhaps back for Sheffield Wednesday term. It's a nice big club used to be in the Premier League. We'll play them at home and then probably have a nice game on Boxing Day as well at St Andrews. So they're the next two games that we all look to do. We have a few games in between that looks like e easier opposition than we've recently faced so hopefully we can get some wins and push on and at least be in the top 10 still we'll come back for that Sheffield Wednesday game it hasn't been a great end to receive this episode but we had a good good victory against Southampton and we had a few decent results in between so we will look to push on. We will be back for our Sheffield Wednesday game in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please like and comment down below. And if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe for daily content of this rebuild and other rebuilds to come. I am looking to do other ones other than this Stoke one. This is my team, so I thought this should be the first one I do. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.